What's good, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, my name is Chrissy. Welcome. If you are returning back to my channel, welcome back, gang, to another video. I just wanted to give you a quick and simple rundown on beauty blenders. This video is going to be very short and very sweet because Trisha has homework. And so I had to go ahead and get out there to help him with some homework and um, we have to eat dinner. So I got to do all of that. So we got to get this uh, video done. I have three beauty blenders in my hand. They all are different brands. This one is a beauty blender from the Beauty Blender brand. And then I have a beauty blender from Real Techniques. This is more of a drugstore beauty blender. Uh, it is a little dirty because I tried to test it out. But um, this beauty blender here is a little rough. It's a little tough. Um, in my opinion, um, once I added water to it, it did, uh, it became big, it inflated to this size, but it became a little bit more softer. You do want to make sure that that beauty blender is damp. That's the only way that you're going to get a, a proper use out of the beauty blender. If the beauty blender is not damp, it is not going to give you the results or the finish that you desire. Now, I'm not going to be applying any makeup on my face today. I'm just going to be telling you about these beauty blenders. The difference between the beauty blender from the beauty blender brand versus these beauty blenders, which are drugstore beauty blenders, is that this beauty blender from the brand gives you a more poreless finish to the skin. So number one, um, using a beauty blender helps uh, to create a poreless finish. And that's mostly what everybody wants is a poreless finish on their makeup application. Second reason is because when you use a beauty blender that is damp, um, it actually does not absorb so much of the makeup. What it does is it allows for that makeup to kind of sit on um, this sponge right here. And then you can easily apply it to your face without it soaking into the sponge and you not getting the full, uh, how can I say it? The full benefit of your product. Number three kind of coincides with number one. So number one, I told you that the Beauty Blender matters because it gives you a more poreless finish. Well, the reason why your Beauty Blender gives you a more poreless fin finish is because of the brand. So that's a deeper topic. Drugstore beauty blenders may not give you the poreless finish that you would like with this um, beauty blender. It is expensive. It is not inexpensive like the drugstore brands are. However, the drugstore um, beauty blender brands, they absorb a lot of water in them. And because they absorb a lot of water when they are damp, it can make the makeup application process a little bit more lumpy. Um, because it's too much water that can be in the beauty blender. Um, with this one right here, if you kind of wet it a couple times, squeeze it out and make sure you're dry. It's really damp, but it's good to go. With these here, um, they do hold a lot of water, so I cause myself to squeeze out the water multiple, multiple times. Um, it probably won't give me the best makeup application because it holds so much water in it, and that's not what we want. We can do a review before we end the video. Number one, gives you a poreless finish. Um, number two, Beauty Blenders does not absorb a whole lot of water when you have a beauty blender from the company. The Real Techniques Beauty Blender is also a really good beauty blender as well. However, this beauty blender does hold more water um, in it than this beauty blender from the beauty blender company. The third uh, tip was when you're using drugstore beauty blenders, you may not get that poreless finish that you desire. You may get a more lumpy or cakey finish. A drugstore beauty blender is going to be more inexpensive. Those are the three tips that I have. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you were able to learn something even if it was just one tip uh, from this video. Until next time, don't forget to practice being the best versions of yourself each and every day. Do not ever stop being the best versions of yourself. I'll check you out in the next video. Bye.